Have you seen those portable one leg humidifiers? A pretty nifty idea. Use pretty much anything as a water container. Carry and use it wherever you like. That is, if it actually works. And hopefully, just like me, you do watch reviews before you buy stuff. But in this product category, you'll be hard pressed to find an actual review. Most will just put it in a glass and call it a day. If you're lucky, they might even have read the manual first. At this point, you, you should be able to plug this in and turn it on. We are not having any success. And no, I don't just berate amateurs. That I showcased on national TV before we get to the coupon code. These are television anchors and I was demonstrating this as an upcoming product. So not only does he not test He's actually affiliated and has the nerve to go on and make articles on how to spot fake reviews. And shit's so widespread, it's literally an epidemic. Like I mentioned in my screen bar review, no matter how good it looks, if it doesn't do its job, it's trash. But after watching over a hundred videos, I have yet to find someone who would actually test them. Sure, with all the ad blocks, hell, sponsor block can actually remove the sponsorship integrations baked in into the video itself. Some might be tempted to just cash in on affiliate revenue or even worse, take bribes uh, incentives. I spent a lot of time with the products I review and try to test them to the best of my ability using the limited resources that I have. In the case of this review, I started back in summer but had to wait for winter and the heating season to finish it off. And in return, I'm asking you to like my video and use my affiliate links when buying stuff. Or, uh, let's cut to the chase. Regardless of which one you pick, they all work in a similar fashion. Pretty simple too. A small atomizer that breaks water into microscopic particles and a cotton filter, usually in two sizes. I picked Basis, Maseos, Basis. <laughs> they don't even mention it in their own promotional videos. First of all, because it's a big company. While our engineers do tests to verify whether the finished products are practical. We will see about that. I mean, I'm not that naive to trust whatever person or let alone a for-profit company is there to tell me. And what you are seeing right now is not some new progressive insanity, but rather the 2009 movie called The Invention of Lying, where I can say the first half an hour or so was somewhat funny. Besides the brand name, it comes with a toggable nightlight and a clever design cable, which you can roll up to carry within the device, as most of these have an archaic micro USB. And after watching on reviews, I guess I can't underestimate the usefulness of a reversible USB. And after ordering it, I went out and got myself some nice fancy sparkling water in a glass bottle, contemplating how cool it will look in my desk setup after looking at all the promo material, as most plastic bottles just don't look that flattering. But unlike Interstellar, there's no happy ending. It won't fit into your standard water bottle, wine bottle, champagne, or your preferred sugary drink. <laughs> Which is rather infuriating, as the filter fits in easily and there is plenty of space. Oh well, time for testing. And tested I did during the day, night, hot, cold, dry, humid, 6 hours, 12 hours at a time. And then I left it in the box waiting for snow. Six months later. Will a one like humidifier offset your regular household radiator? I took a brand new filter and soaked it for half an hour to make sure it's completely wet. In fact, I even used my big humidifier for a bit so that the air around isn't completely dry and turned it on in my 11 square meter room, which is around 120 square feet. The humidity sensor was positioned close by with a small USB fan that was giving off a gentle breeze so that the mist doesn't actually land on the sensor itself. The results? Devastating. I was losing, not gaining humidity. I was shocked, baffled. I mean, even CNET is recommending these. They can't be possibly 
Why? So first thing, I decided to double check my new Xiaomi humidity sensor. I mean, it just could be faulty, right? I used my trusted SwitchBot humidifier. Well, I actually used four different sensors and they all worked fine. It's just that this thing is five to six times more powerful at least on paper, and can save you from COVID, as well as other health concerns. It has smart home integration, can diffuse aromas. In my review, I even covered maintenance, positioning, and yada yada. Then I decided to clean it using citric acid and vinegar. You can use either or. Citric smells better, in my opinion, so pick your poison. But I do recommend doing it outside, as you will sneeze and cough, at the very least if you leave it on running, which I do for like 5 minutes in the mixture. And also to switch things around, to simulate a more realistic scenario, at arm's reach, like say your bedside table. Now it should work, right? Otherwise, I literally spend days and 100 gigabytes of footage for nothing, as I'm not even monetizing YouTube. This time, the small USB fan is actually directing the mist towards the sensor. Slowly. Very slowly. I finally started seeing results, but my other sensors, one position right at the camera and the other like 50-60 centimeters away from the sensor, were not as promising. So unless you live in a closet, or even worse, a coffin. And no, that's not actually a joke, but the sad reality for many people living in Hong Kong. The most expensive place to rent. These rooms, 2 by 1 meter, are literally coffin sized. If you're rich, you can splurge on a coffin with a window, while the less fortunate live in cages. I'm that serious. Here's some videos you can check out. So I can conclude, it's only useful, close by, blowing right in your face. And these guys actually have a small humidifier that comes with a fan. But now I'm skeptical if it will actually work. And this thing actually destroyed itself like Game of Thrones. The button stopped working twice and now it just died. Unfortunately, the times are tough for most of us. I know. So see you next. Subscribe to my channel as I'll be making a review of this $3 humidity sensor which can connect to your smart home. So you can actually test and not lie to your readers.